and I'm so glad you can join me today for Brew It Too. My name is Angela Meller and I'm part of the Christchurch family in Orton near Ormskirk in Lancashire. I'd like to share this short time with you and invite you afterwards to listen to one of my favourite songs and its powerful message. The mug I have chosen today is one from my granddaughters. The message brought a tear to my eye when I opened my gift and it still makes me smile today. But what has this got to do with Jesus, our risen Lord, I hear you say? Well, in their message was love. And when I use the mug for my cup of tea, I also see hope for my two granddaughters and for their future. Jesus is our ultimate hope and a symbol of enduring love. So let me tell you a story. I was brought up in a Christian family near London. I went to church and Sunday school. I was confirmed and tried to follow Jesus in my life. I married, I had two children and life was good. Then in 1987, having lived in Dubai for nearly five years, we returned to Britain, but not to our home in Scotland, but to Ormskirk because of my husband's work. Sadly, just two years later, my marriage failed and I was left with two young children, no job, no family nearby and just a few fairly new friends. One of these friends suggested that I came to Christchurch and there Christ met me in my hour of need. His love and the love of Christian friends helped me through some very dark times and gave me hope for the future. In 1995, I met and married Hal, and we had 20 wonderful years together. He was older than me, and in his 80s was sadly diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. It was difficult, both physically and emotionally, to care for him, and to see the strong, active and intelligent man I had fallen in love with fade away. He died in 2015. However, again, my faith in Jesus and his everlasting love kept me going and gave me hope. So what can we learn through hard times about the love and hope that the risen Christ gives? That his love is always there, rock solid and our refuge, every day and night, guarding us, guiding us, through his word and the love and support of our Christian community. He has love for every individual and cares about them. He loves our community, our country and the wonderful world that he created. He feels for our pain, especially in the uncertain times at present, and longs for us all to be happy and to experience a little bit of heaven on earth. He wants us to have peace and hope where everyone has what they need and can live with dignity, be treated justly and experience joy. Hope and love go together, for when you feel loved, you also feel hope. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus gave us the hope that our sins are forgiven and we can look forward to eternal life. What a marvellous hope! That hope is true at a personal level and also for our country and for the world. We will come through COVID-19. Our churches will flourish. Our communities will be rebuilt and we will learn better how to care for the world and its people. So now we ask, what can we do if, if he has given us this amazing hope and love? How can we show that love and hope to others in our family, our community and for the world? We can start in prayer and use our reading of the Bible to guide us. We can look to Jesus' life and how he gave hope and love. Perhaps we can make a phone call, a visit, write a letter, do an errand for someone in need, give our money, our time and our gifts. We can think carefully about what we buy and use and how we travel and all these things we can do right now and in the future. Most of all we can think about how we treat every living creature on earth 
and how we can make our earthly world a little bit more like heaven.